so what's up guys we are now at the first lesson of the finals which is derivative actually maraming application and derivatives sa other fields of science engineering physics at marami pang iba bago natin i-define ang derivative let's discuss first tangent lines so siguro familiar sa inyo yung konsepto ng tangent line if you are given a circle tangent line is a line that intersect the circle exactly once so yung konsepto ng tangent line sa circle is almost the same sa konsepto ng tangent lines dito so if given ka ng points na isang curve or given ka ng point na isang curve a f of a with function f yung tangent line is yung line na ito and the slope of the line is given by so we have m tan this is the slope of the tangent line this is equal to the limit of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a as x approaches a provided that the limit exists equivalently pwede nating i-write ang slope ng tangent line as m tan which is equal to the limit of f of a plus h minus f a over h as h approaches zero of course provided that the limit exists for example f of x equals x squared as x approaches three so note that f of three equals x squared which is equal to three squared equals nine so yung f of three natin is uh, magagamit to sa ating equation so we have m tan equals the limit of f of x minus f of 3 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 this is equal to x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3 and uh, note that itong x squared minus 9 can be factored out by x minus 3 and x plus 3 so we have the limit of x minus 3 over x plus times x plus 3 all over x minus 3 so, ma-cancel out ang x minus 3. So, ang material na lang is x plus 3. So, the limit of x plus 3 as x approaches 3 is 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6. It means yung slope ng tangent line is 6. If you want to solve for the equation of the line, we have m equals 6 and the point 3, 9. Using point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 we have y minus 9 equals 6 times x minus 3 and then um, simplifying so we have y minus 9 equals 6x minus 18 and we have y equals 6x minus 9 so ito yung tangent line at x equals 3 So, tignan natin ang sitwasyon using graph. So, ito yung f of x equals x squared. And we have the point 3, 9. At ito naman yung y equals 6x minus 9. So, ganito yung konsepto ng tangent line. So, ano ang kinalaman ng tangent line sa idea ng derivative? At ano yung derivative at the point? Kung titignan natin yung formula ng slope ng tangent line, we have... Um, m tan equals limit of f x minus f a as all over x minus a as x approaches a if we treat the right hand side as an evaluation of function at x equals a we will get the definition of the derivative of the function derivative at, at at a so yung derivative of the function f x at a denoted by f prime of a i f prime of a equals the limit of f x minus f a all over x minus a as x approaches a meaning in derivative of the function at a point is actually the slope of the, the tangent line at that point for example let f x be equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 find f prime of 2 so note that f of 2 equals so evaluate natin yung fx as x equals 2 so we have 3 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 1 so this is equal to 12 minus 8 plus 1 is equal to 5 
Okay, so we have f f of two is equal to five. So using the formula of f prime f prime of two, two is equal to the limit of f of x minus f two all over x minus two as x approaches two. So this is limit of three x squared minus four x plus one minus five all over x minus two as x approaches two. So simplifying, we have the limit of three x squared minus four x minus four as x approaches two. So we have so note that three x squared minus four x minus four can be factored out by x minus two times three x plus two. So we have the limit of x minus two times three x plus two over x minus two as x approaches two. So note that ma cancel yung x minus two, so we have the limit of three x plus two as x approaches two is three times two plus two, which is equal to six plus two equals eight. So therefore, f prime of two is eight. Okay, so what if we generalize the derivative at a point? Instead of specifying the point, what if we solve the derivative of the function? So note that f prime of a equals the limit of f x minus f a all over x minus a as x approaches a. This can be written as f prime of a equals the limit of f of a, a plus h minus f of a all over h as h approaches zero. Kung hindi natin specify yung a, we will get f prime of x equals the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches zero. So ito na yung definition ng derivative of the function. So meron tayong konting terminologies dito. So kapag may f of x ka at, ma, at na exist ang f prime of a, it means f is differentiable at a or differentiable ang f of x at a. Kapag yung domain ng f mo ay s, differentiable ang f of x on s if differentiable at every point on s ang f. Okay, so let's uh, have some examples uh, derivative. So find the derivative of f of x equals x squared. Okay, so using the formula f prime of x equals the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as x approaches 0. So, since ang ating f of x ay x squared, ang f of x plus h natin ay x plus h squared. So, we have this equal to the limit of x plus h squared minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. So, this equal to the limit of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h. So, in expand natin yung x plus h squared as h approaches 0. Okay, so cancel yung h x squared. So we have the limit of 2xh plus h squared over h as h approaches 0. And then factor out h. So we have the limit of h times 2x plus h over h as h approaches 0. So yung natira na lang is yung 2x plus h. So we have the limit of 2x plus h as h approaches 0. So, as h approaches 0, yung h ni mo ay magiging makancel out. So, we have f prime of x equals 2x. Okay, so sa f prime of x, marami tayong alternative notations. Pwedeng dy over dx, pwedeng y prime, pwedeng d of f of x over dx. 